Yo, what is up everyone? Z Karma here. Welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. Yesterday was hotfix day and we received an insane amount of weapon buffs and grenade buffs also. In this video, I want to only cover the weapon buffs. Grenades will be in a separate upload. I will also go over the specific damage percent increase of each one in case you were curious. So before I get into it, if you found this informative or helpful in any way, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you want to subscribe for more content like this, that'll be awesome as well. Starting off with the red line shotgun, this weapon drops from Road Dog at the Splinter Lens on Pandora. The red line cannot drop anywhere else, so you will have to farm him. This weapon was pretty decent a while back, but sort of fell off. Now, it has received a weapon damage buff, and also they reduced the recoil on it. So, the damage was actually increased by 200%, which is a massive buff. One of the largest buffs we have seen in the game aside from Mayhem Scaling. And after using this weapon, it's actually very nice, so make sure to give it a try. Just watch out for terror debuffs because this gun kicks like a horse. Next, we have a Sleeping Giant. This one drops from One Punch over at Electra City. It is a dull SMG that has never really been praised or liked. When you reload this weapon, it has a chance to grant you weapon bonuses. With this hotfix, the magazine size was actually doubled. Reloading has a 33% chance to award all possible bonuses, which is actually kind of nice, and the weapon damage bonus has been actually increased. After using this weapon, I noticed that once you got the proper damage bonuses, this weapon actually destroys. For my testing, the damage increase varied from a 100% increase to a 150% increase and 400% increase. Definitely recommend you all give this weapon a try, especially if you roll all the bonuses at once and use Terror Ammo Region build. It's going to be fantastic. Moving on, we have the Companion. This is a Jacob's Pistol and it drops from Anointed's X2 and X3 over at the Anvil on Eden 6. You do need to complete the Malevolent Practice side mission. This weapon has a 0% chance to set enemies on fire. However, critical hits will always ignite the enemies 100% of the time, which is pretty cool. This one is one of my favorite buffs since the weapon carried me through my first ever playthrough. But anyway, this weapon has received a 166% damage increase, which makes it one of the best pistols in the game now. The only problem is, of course, that it's semi-auto, like the Maggie, but it has a little bit more kick. So shooting it fast while trying to control it and hit headshots can be a little tricky. Regardless, this weapon now performs really well, so I definitely recommend you checking it out. Moving on, we have the Garcia. This is a shotgun that drops from the Chunk Stump over at the Floodmore Basin on Eden 6. This weapon was actually very well liked until recently, I think Mayhem 10. But with the hotfix, they have increased the damage by 100%. I used it for a bit and I wasn't too impressed actually. Keep in mind, I was using Amara and again, single target, it was struggling. With Ties that Bind, of course, everything died, but I think it still needs a little bit more of a buff for me to use it. Moving on, we have the Flood. This is a Jacob's Pistol that drops from Lagrimar over at the Conrad's Hold on Pandora. To farm him, you need to complete the side mission called the Demon in the Dark. Anyway, this is a fast firing pistol that has always been mid-tier. With this hotfix, it has received an increase to the magazine size, an increase in damage of 66%. In my opinion, I feel like it needs a slightly higher buff than this. I tried it and it does do a pretty decent job. However, if you really wanted to compete with the top tier pistols, it needs at least an additional 50 to 75% increase in damage. Next, we have the Polybius shotgun, which drops from Genevieve at the Voracious Canopy on Eden 6. The shotgun has always underperformed, honestly, so I was actually very curious as to how it would perform. Now, with this hotfix, it actually received a 135% increase in damage, which is quite a lot. But I don't think that it is enough to bring this shotgun to be viable on Mayhem 10. It was doing an okay job on Athena's, but once I took it into the takedown, it was heavily underperforming. Moving on, we have the Horizon. This one drops from Max Hitrillion at the Voracious Canopy on Eden 6. It is a TDR shotgun. When I throw it, it creates a shootable target. So when I shoot that target, it creates a singularity that brings enemies in and then it explodes. And let me tell you, that singularity has awesome range. It will pull in enemies that are far away. Anyway, for this weapon, they increase the damage by 66%, increase reload speed, and reduce the recoil. 
I had a lot of fun with this weapon, definitely worth a try if you're interested. Next we have the Infinity which drops from the Anointed Alpha over at the Anvil on Eden 6. This is a Vladov pistol that basically has infinite ammo. It has always sucked, let's be honest, however, with this hotfix it received a 71% increase in damage and I actually had a lot of fun using it. It's decent for Mayhem 10, easy content, just like normal story run, but if you are going to try to run a DLC content with this or any endgame content, it will definitely struggle. Anyway, moving on, we have the Destructo Spinner. This one drops from the Power Troopers over at the Atlas HQ on Promethea. This is a Malawan SMG that has never really been that good. However, this update did give it a 100% increase in damage, which is a lot of damage. <laughs> Imagine it as a free increase in damage, which is multiplicative with everything else. However, when I tried using it, I was quite disappointed. The buff seems to not have been enough to make it even mid-tier. However, if you do go out of your way to match elements every single time, then it could be pretty decent. However, there's a lot of other options on the table, so this one doesn't really cut it for me. Next, we have the Skull Masher. This is a sniper that drops in DLC number 2 from Aista. This weapon was already really good in my opinion. However, it has now received a 50% increase in damage, increased accuracy, and reduced recoil. Quite the list of buffs, honestly, and as expected, it still seems to wreck everything, even single targets on Amara. I think Zane and Flag are going to be really happy with this buff. And now for the final buff, we have the Krabs Pistol. This one drops from Jackpot, which is the final boss of the Handsome Jackpot DLC. The weapon used to be insane before Mayhem 10 came out. In order to bring it back to light, they gave it a 120% increase in damage, which is actually quite nice. Let me just say that this pistol wrecks. It's hard to find a splash weapon that works well on Amara, and this one actually put in some serious work. Definitely recommend that you guys get one if you have DLC number one. And that is going to do it for all the buffs. Gearbox seems like it is starting to buff a lot of weapons, so hopefully we keep seeing these updates where they buff weapons to increase the variety of builds that we have in the community. I also wanted to mention that very soon the skill trees of every Vault Hunter are going to be revealed. I'll be covering those as soon as I have more information. And hopefully we can create some builds without being able to use them. That would be amazing. Let me know what you all think about this video. Next video is going to be a build on Amara using Phase Grasp Skull's Anointment. So look out for that one. But that's going to do it for today. If you found it helpful or informative in any way, a like rating is always appreciated. And if you want to subscribe for more content like this, that'll be awesome as well. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.